okay. One time I was flying with my grandmother to, um, from Washington DC to um, Frankfurt, Germany and we were over the international water and a man had a heart attack on the plane. And so they called on the plane if somebody needed a doctor, but I didn't know what was going on. And I heard some, like I thought it was a baby crying, but I didn't see a baby get on board, so I thought somebody had had a baby, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we ended up landing and they got the guy off and they told us what had happened. It turned out all his luggage was above me in like the compartments above us and then they got him off the plane and then we were going to get back going and one of the engines wouldn't start so they had to fix it and that took about two hours and then another engine wouldn't start and so they had to get a replacement part but it took so long to get there they were about to take us off the plane and then they finally got there and it took about five hours for us to take off so we were and we ended up being eight hours late to our destination so that yeah. But I thank God in a way that that, heart, that got me and had a heart attack because if the engine stopped working while we were over the ocean, we could have died. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah. Wow. And uh, so I have dyslexia. Okay. And, well, it's basically, this article is about somebody interviewing me about having dyslexia. And basically, I got this. Well, I didn't. I've always had dyslexia. I didn't. <laughs> I found out I had it when I was six. And I went to a doctor for a couple of weeks. And it, I went to a tutor for about three years for it, about twice a week for about an hour. Um, and I, sorry, um, but most people, when they have dyslexia, they see letters backwards. And I don't actually see letters backwards. It just takes me about six times to read something before I know what I read. Or I can't concentrate very easily when I'm around other people and I'm reading. And I get really embarrassed when I have to read it loud, which is why I don't want to read this. Um, <laughs> because I miss say things like all the time and I can never spell correctly. It's, I don't like it. But so, yeah. But most people are embarrassed to tell people they have dyslex dyslexia. But I don't really care if people know I have dyslexia. I just don't want to have to read in front of people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um... I kind of, my dream job is to open up a bed and breakfast, so this is about a bed and breakfast set open. I don't have a specific place, but I chose California here. Um, it's basically a bed and breakfast in the country, and it is like an old, well, it could be a new home. And this home is not exactly what I want, but my dad helped me find a picture, and it was just the best picture that we found. Um, and I want there to be like the whole place surrounded by trees and there to be a long driveway and I want there to be lots of gardens and like almost like an orchard as well there and I would like like every room to have a bathroom and for there to be like a giant library and <laughs> um, for just it to be a very happy place and I also put in recipes for the well, recipes I actually make, but that could basically nice. be used in the bed and breakfast. So, um, and also dinner would be able to happen at the bed and breakfast, but they'd have to pay extra for dinner. So, <laughs> um, we put an ad in for a masseuse for hire because I love <laughs> massaging people. And evidently people say I'm pretty good at it. So, and evidently you can make like $50 an hour for massaging. So, yeah. So, I have an ad for a masseuse in here. And um, this is about this picture. We could not find a picture from that year, so it's just my team's picture from this year. For my basketball, we, when I was on the JV girls two years ago, we made it to the state championship, and we played a team we had already played three times, and they had beaten us twice, and we had beaten them once, and we ended up losing by four points, which is really hard, but... It was still fun to play them because they had really good sportsmanship. And the last ad is um, for my cards. I love making cards, and I would like to sell them. I keep not getting on it, but so these are some cards I make. And yeah, you've made those. Mm -hmm. Oh, Annie, that was awesome.